When you feel fear, anxiety, awkwardness, irritation, annoyance, those are pretty good clues that something is different, something has changed. If you get stuck in those feelings, you miss the fact that they are simply flags. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Power. I think speaking chose me and I stepped up. People told me I made a difference, so I began to talk. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage our change expert, Elizabeth Power. I want to help anybody who realizes how profound change is in everybody's life. If I'm successful, I've taken what you need and woven my message into your need to help your people deal with change and become who you need them to become. We all need a certain amount of sympathy, pity, comfort, and attention. But let me tell you this, it often comes at the expense of your self-respect, your self-esteem, your ability to manage different things, your access to different stuff. I mean, I just want to have her in my pocket. Anytime big change happens, she's going to guide you right through it. And she was so fun and authentic. Elizabeth's presentation really made me think about the fact that fear is a feeling, not a fact. And it, it just was a light bulb moment for me to realize that. She really pointed out some things that we really needed to pay attention to. And I think that her message was very well received. And I think a lot of us are going to be able to take it back and actually put it into practice. The best thing somebody can do after they listen to me is sit down with a cup of coffee or the beverage of their choice and think about what they've heard and think about how it applies to them openly and honestly without their defenses in place. I've been through more change than a chameleon crawling through a costume ball and if there's anybody who can help your organization make the changes you're trying to make, it's me. We often teach ourselves to do things differently using self-discipline. That's punishment, monitoring, restriction and restraint. Are you kidding? What do you need when that happens? Don't you need pity, sympathy, comfort, and attention? What happens if you switch that to discipling the self, to choosing self and maybe someone even more significant as teacher? Yeah.